Hi friends, welcome to Joyfido International. How are you today? Hoping you're having a really lovely time wherever you are. Okay, so today we're coming to you with something exciting as always. My name is Joyfido and welcome on board. So you know what Joyfido International represents. Um, we're here to kind of like inspire you to success. That's the big message for us. Um, because we know that deep down in all of us there's something great out there. There is something that's been put into every one of us on this earth to contribute to life. But what happens is we tend to get lost in life. We tend to get distracted. A lot of things happens to us and you know a few times I've said it. Most of us by the time we get into 25 we're beginning to lose it. We're beginning to feel what is the point of life i'm not getting anywhere i'm trying everything i can and it's not happening so you know what i'm gonna give up so these are the kind of people we want to work with we want to work with you by guiding you to refocus your attention on who you are we want to remind you to go back into yourself and bring out that person that was originally put in you and that's why our big message is about inspiring you to success because we know that everything we are in this life starts with our mind and if our mind starts to get confused then we are confused because whatever we bring out in the in in the physical starts with the internal and so the best place to start when you want to mold a person is from the mind so once the mind is sorted out the physical becomes normal and becomes okay so what's today's title it's about time now one of the biggest things we struggle with in life is most of us complain that we don't have enough time so today's title is about creating time for what you love what you like what you want create time for what you want that's the title and before I get fully into it, this is interesting. Um, the other day I had a client of mine come around in the shop and we're just watching one of my videos. And she was looking at me and said, I don't get what you're selling. One of these inspirational videos. And I said, I'm not selling anything. I'm trying to inspire people to get back to their life, to get their life right. And that made me really think. Because when people are sitting down there and watching some of these inspirational videos that I give, I think most times it's all about what, what does she want to sell to me now? Because everybody out there is selling something. But you see, I have so many aspects of what we do here. We have so many aspects. And our biggest thing is sharing what we know. But over the years, with my experience in life, I realized that you really cannot get anywhere fast in life if your internal, if your mind is not sorted out. And that's because I experienced that myself. I, I, I've been through a phase where I thought I'd, I'd tried everything and nothing was making sense. And it took me a really long time to understand the fact that I was the one stopping myself. I was the one holding myself back. And when I came to that realization, it hit me to share that with people. Because if lots of people out there are going through similar experiences like I did, they may equally be stuck. And what pulled me out is so many things because I don't sit down. I don't just sit down and do nothing. I am constantly searching, especially about life. Because I believe there's a better life out there for every one of us. I believe there's something about each and every one of us. But something holds us back. And it's trying to understand what that thing is that's holding us back. So I tend to read a lot of books. I tend to ask a lot of questions. I tend to want to know. I want to know why and how and when and where, what, what. These are the kind of questions I ask all the time. And these are the reasons I get some of the answers that I get. So when I get these answers, I want to share them. 
so this is a message I come to share with you um, it's like when I get a breakthrough I want to share that because I know it takes a lot for people to achieve breakthroughs and um, when I do get them it's only it's only expected nature expects me to share what I know because if I've been able to understand something we, I've talked about this several times on on this channel if I understand something or if you understand something nature expects you to pass that on give it on to the next person who doesn't understand it because if we all do this we end up creating a better world if you, if you get what I mean so when I do understand something I come and share it as well and naturally this is my um, this is my audience where I can share what I know and then of course with all the other various social media networks or social media you know spaces where you can just give what you know out there for people who need it to pick it up and so the the whole idea for me in particular is once i've been able to share this then and you think clearer you are in a better position to understand what is going on in your life then you'll be in a better position as well to when i do tell you about something that is what you invest in it you will happily invest in it and then you will not be getting confused anymore in your head so i'm gonna go deep into what creating time is all about create time for what you love why is this message very important because lots of us lots of us and i say us whenever i say us i include myself because i am equally um a student of understanding life as everybody is trust me i'm not an expert i just know these things and i come to share lots of us have this issue in life where we think um we would have been something we would have done this if we had the time time is one thing that we all struggle with we all complain and say i would have i would have been so smart i would have passed my exam with the best results if i had the time i would have attended that event if i had the time I would have been part of that workshop if I had the time. I would have attended lots of training if I had the time. I, I would have read every book I can find if I had the time. So do you see where the trend goes? We all say, and I remember attending a workshop once, and one of the ladies that were just chatting, and they'd come up with a program that they were going to teach us more stuff, and I said, I would have done it if I had the time which for me is real because I'm actually engaged in another program elsewhere which I've committed my time to it's a two-year program and I cannot just you know skip out of it in order to take on something else that's going to commit me so I just said I would have done it if I had the time and she said oh really now if your time is being taken by something else why are you str still struggling to make ends meet in life? And it made me think, yeah. Now, what happens is we end up putting our time in the wrong places. Because while something may have been really, really valuable to you and achieve you some really great results, you are saying no to that thing because your time is otherwise committed to things that are not really giving you any results and this happens to all of us we put our time in the wrong places because remember what it is i also read somewhere where somebody said yes we all complain about time but every one of us has got 24 hours in a day we all have 24 hours in a day and yet out of that 24 hours some of us are smart enough to turn that 24 hours into amazing results and hence you see people who are really living well and doing great things in their life and then you see some of us who are still struggling to make ends meet because in our head we don't have the time but that time is the same 24 hours for all of us in this world so this is a big message for you and for me and for anyone who wants to listen and practice 24 hours for all of us is enough time for us to 
pull back. So sit with yourself, time management is called. Organize your day, organize your time. From this time to this time, I am going to do this. And from this time to that time, I am going to do this. So if you decided you're going to read a book and you allocate two hours a day for reading that book, organize it in whatever form. It could be in the morning or in the evening. Two hours of my time will go into that. And especially for, for, the, for us Christians, we tend to, I would have read my Bible if I had the time. But that's the Bible sitting in front of you. So you could pull out 30 minutes of your day and say, today, I mean, starting today, 30 minutes of my day will go into my reading the Bible. So I can understand my spirit better. So once you can start telling yourself that, pull them out of your 24 hours and say, I'm going to sleep between XYZ time to XYZ time. Between that, I will, I will do this and I will do this and I will do that. And every time I practice this, I get results. Because when I started like the program I'm on, when, I, when it's time for me, the crunch of it, to start doing my assignments and get results so that I can submit it and get it out of the way, I pull myself down. Whatever it is I'm doing, I stop. And I say to myself, today I am going to achieve X, Y, Z. And if it's going to stretch me into 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m., I go all the way. So that comes down to what happens is we will create time if we feel that thing is important enough. We will create time for it. If we think it is so important, it has to be done, we will create time for it. And I attended an event where the man says, it's not about priority, it's about importance. Because the mistake we've made all our life, most of us, is, oh, this is priority, this has got to be done now, so it's so urgent, it has to be done now. But most times when you really look at that thing that's priority to you, what you need to ask yourself is, what's the result I'm getting out of this priority thing? You find that the result is nothing important at all. So his advice was, look at importance. How important is this thing to you? And that's the message the young lady was given to me too. How important is this thing that you're allocating your two years to? That you think this other thing that's going to achieve you great results can be put in the back burner. So that's the message. How important is whatever it is you're doing to you such that when you get that thing, the results is going to make a big difference in your life. So creating time for things that are important to you is so necessary for you to understand. Because once you understand that you're going to see how you reorganize your day, you're going to look at your 24 hours and you're going to say, I am going to, whatever it takes, I will achieve at least one thing a day towards the bigger picture of what I'm looking for in life. And while I'm on that, I remind you nicely about the program that we have here, which is the home training program. And why does this connect with what I'm saying? Lots of people, when we say to them, this is what it is. They are, they are individual DVDs that teach you 21 different ways of working with the natural hair. You know, single braids, twisting, hair extensions, uh, um, Ghana Conroe uh, box braids, you name it how to feather the hair 21 of them are all different techniques and then 7 of them are understanding hair extensions no, 2 of them understanding hair extensions and 7 are getting into the business of hair and whenever we bring this up, people tell us Oh, but if I, if I have the time, I could actually buy this and then I could make a difference in my life. There's another video I'm going to uh, bring out soon, which is going to talk about saving money for what you want. 
now once you take this on which is where we're talking about importance you take this on all our students who have taken this they have seen a massive difference in their life because just one technique alone just one thing you know 30 dvds here 21 of them different ways of working with hair just one alone can start putting money into your bank account every week every week you're getting money from knowing one thing in this package now is that not worth creating time for that's a big message because anything i know that's going to benefit my life that's what's important not just because it's priority it's top of the list i'm going to do it and then when you really look at it it brings you nothing most of these things that are priority actually take our money for no reason so my big advice here which is my suggestion again based on me learning in life is create time for those things that are important to you those things that will make a difference in your life those things that will contribute something tangible to your life and for us like i said i'm not selling anything here but this has always been here and the more i try to walk your mind with your mind to understand things the more you understand the importance of what I am contributing to your life. If, you're, if you've been following me based on hair, this is one of the biggest things you can take on that will make that big difference in your life. Time is no friend of any of us. You know why? Because 24 hours you don't use it, it's gone. 24 hours you don't use it, it's gone. And before you know it in your life, you're gradually creeping down towards the end of your life. Creeping slowly. Some people will remember the last time. Oh, only yesterday I was 35. You mean I'm 40 already? Oh my gosh, where did the time go? We all ask that. And you know, especially when you see children who were just born, you remember going to the hospital to see the baby. And the next thing you're seeing that baby is now 18 years old, um, 20 years old what where did the time go why because you have looked at yourself and suddenly i have nothing to account for for the 20 years that just gone past so this is why it's so important that with time we should not take chances because the only owner of time in our life is our creator only he knows when he's going to say that's it it's done you can come back home that's it it is over and then you go, oh my gosh, what did I do with the time? So this, this is something I'm working with myself as well. I value every day I wake up. And yes, I come here and I sit with you and I chat with you. It's because there are messages in me that I've got to bring out. And I pull back time to, to bring them out. I could be doing a million other things. But because for me, I understand that message that if something has been put in you, you have to let it go. You have to bring it out so that somebody else can also gain value from that thing. That's why I created the time to be with you. So that I can share an important message that's been put in me with you. So that it can help you also see something in your life that you need to work on and improve on. So remember what we've just said here, every day of your life counts. Um, we don't have any control of our life in the sense of time. Um, if we don't use our time wisely, we, use, we lose it, it's gone. And what you don't want to do is wake up old and shrivel and lost and saying, what did I do with my time? I should have used it wisely. So that's why this big message came across very important that I should share it. So look back into your day, um, 24 hours, organize it. If it means taking on training, create time and take that training. Because things like training, things like reading, things like attending workshops and you know events and, and seminars, these are the things that add value to you and these are the kind of things you should not tell yourself if I had the time 
these are the kind of things that you have to create time for because something like time will not come to you and say oh look i'm available use me that will never say that to you you have to pull it back you have to tell yourself from eight o'clock to ten o'clock i am going to be at xyz place and from 10 o'clock to 10 30 i will be at so you are the one in control saying to yourself this is what i'm doing at this time this is what i'm doing at this time this is my time i am going to allocate it wisely i'm going to use it properly because time is so precious time is something that nobody can say they have control of not even governments not even nobody no human being has control of time and like we all know a day that's gone is gone that day is gone so the sooner we understand the value of time the better will be for all of us and the better our life will be too so i'm hoping this message has gotten across and you've got something from it as usual give me your feedback tell me what you think of it tell me how it's supporting and helping your life um stay in touch with us so remember to share this message to your friends if you find it's going to be useful to them remember to subscribe to us because then whenever we upload any videos you'll get to know about them um remember to give us a thumbs up because then it shows that what we're doing is making sense in your life and we look forward to seeing you in the next video and thank you so much for taking your time out to listen to it and god bless you